My name is Indiana. And I'm Andre. Together, we are changing the face of the AFL. Literally. We're on the hunt for an elite task force to help us win more smiles for footy and inspire the optimists in all footy fans. We are Chief Smile Officers. Today's candidate is a two-time Premiership player, a Coleman Award winner, and most importantly, a dad. I've got a few medals too. Hope he's not too intimidated. Wow, I like your medals. What are they for? Best smile. Four years running. And who judges that? It's not important. So Tom, what do you think when I say the word optimism? I think of uh, someone that is, that is positive in their thinking, someone that sets goals. Do you set goals? I set goals and kick goals. Nice. Tell me about a time when you were optimistic. How did you do it? Was it hard? Yeah, it, it was hard. It was during the middle part of my career when I was a little bit in and out of the side and I wasn't being picked in the team. But I learnt along the way um, from other teammates and players in the competition that I love watching that you need to be positive uh, and have a positive outlook. Initially, I didn't realise I was learning it, but um, once I'd sort of grasped that idea, it, it certainly helped me uh, in playing in the game for so long. How do you remain optimistic when things are tough? Well, each year um, I set myself some goals and there's certainly times when things aren't going well, but those goals help me um, narrow my focuses. Um, if I'm distracted, they bring me back um, to the moment and allow me to concentrate on, on what's on the future. So I think um, it's taken me a long time to develop that skill and it's not an easily acquired skill, but um, but that's, that's what helps me when things aren't going so well. Good answer. Who is the most optimistic player at Geelong? I've got a lot of optimistic teammates uh, and that goes right from the top but the most is Mark Blitzer. When he was uh, 18, he was trying to um, make it to the Olympics and he's come into the AFL system. So it's been a quite an incredible story. So he's someone that's definitely optimistic and sets goals and, uh, and achieves great things. Your coach, Chris Scott, doesn't seem to smile a lot. What <laughs> can we do to make him smile more? It would help if I kick more goals, um, but I think he, I don't think he's too bad. Um, he's in a pretty high pressured environment. The camera always seems to go up to the coach's box when things um, aren't going so well on game day. So I feel a little bit sorry for him in that sense. He's emotional. Uh, he wears his heart on his sleeve, which is what we love about him. So there's plenty of times that he's in the, in the coach's box smiling, but it, maybe the cameras don't um, catch him as much. Okay, thanks for coming in, Tom. He definitely gave it 110%. He has strong insights about how keeping goals can keep an optimist motivated. Sorry to interrupt, I forgot to ask. When do I find out if I got the job? I'll call you this afternoon. Oh, okay, great. You see how he's got something to look forward to? I'm very good at this. <laughs>